The Whale. The story of a man named Charlie who had given up all hope within his life and was quite literally eating himself to death through the addiction that we saw he came to develop following the loss of his partner Alan. This movie, whilst being utterly tragic and heartbreaking, it provided moments of beauty that were embedded throughout it, and none more so than what we saw happen right at the end of it. All of those around him who he let inside were grieving for him long before he'd departed life, and he himself was grieving the two lives that he led before the existence that he had in the present day. The ending of this story was an example of the undertones of beauty coming to the forefront and the two-hour runtime transitioning into a poetic end. So let's break down and explain the beauty that lies within the tragedy that occurs at the end of The Whale. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers on the movie. Let's start with the main talking point of the ending and a way of masking a tragedy with beauty. Did Charlie stand up? Throughout this movie, we saw that Charlie wanted to mend the relationship that he had with his daughter Ellie. She was an individual who emitted dark behaviours, was ridiculing her father along with many other people online and showed no sense of emotion towards her father. She was merely using him as a way of being able to get her essays done for high school and inherit a small fortune once he died. At the start of the movie, we saw that as Charlie was choking on the food that he was eating, he wanted an essay that was written on the book Moby Dick to be read to him. This was something that we soon found out was an important thing that he wanted to be read to him in his final moments, as it brought him peace and comfort and he thought it was the best essay that he ever read. Throughout the movie, we were led to believe the entire time that despite the fact that it was a good essay, we didn't know who it was from, if he wrote it or if he related to it because it was referring to a whale in the novel as a monster, and maybe he saw himself as that. However, the closing moments answered the long-awaited question. Ellie ended up failing her assignment due to the essay that she submitted that Charlie wrote, and when she read it aloud in front of Charlie, as he was dying in front of her, we saw that it was in fact the essay that had been present throughout the whole movie, all five days, and it was important because it was written by her. Charlie had no contact with Ellie for several years prior to when she arrived at the start of the week. All he had was this essay that his ex-wife Mary sent him, which Ellie wrote in the eighth grade. Whilst he kept it close because he believed it was a good essay that spoke a lot of truth, provided criticism and also an interesting perspective, the real reason he kept it close was because it was all that he had of her. He believed she was beautiful and her words were too, so that's why it was always so important to him. As Ellie was storming out towards the end of the movie in a fit of rage where we saw that the movie had hit a crescendo, tempers had reached their heights and the light from the door entered, we saw that Ellie started reading her essay aloud, and as she was doing so, Charlie slowly stood up and walked towards her. As he did that, we saw that the light was gradually casting over his face, consuming him more. He was walking unaided, and as he looked over into Ellie's eyes, the memory of the beach faded into his mind, and we saw him look up and transcend upwards. This showed the beauty in what occurred. Charlie was there with his daughter in his final moments, reading the very thing that he treasured more than anything in this world. However, what unfolded was something that I think occurred inside of his mind. I believe the moment that Ellie turned around and started reading the essay, it was the moment where he drifted out of consciousness and passed away. What we saw was him taking his steps closer to death inside of his own mind. Charlie was delirious before Ellie arrived due to being in a critical state, and I don't believe he would have had the strength within him on the most average of days to have been able to get up and walk over without the assistance of anything or anybody, let alone in his final moments. I believe he got what he wanted. His daughter turned around in his moment of need and was the only sound in his ear as he was passing away, listening to the best essay that he ever read, read in the most beautiful voice that he had ever heard. I believe that he died in the seat that he was sat in. Whilst not as visually amazing as what we saw unfold, it definitely provided the harsh reality of the condition that Charlie was in and the sad truth of what unfolded in that moment. Liz uttered the line, how could you do this to me again? And this is now going to be something that we're going to talk about. Within this moment, we saw Liz speaking with Charlie and being upset at the fact that after her brother and Charlie's partner Alan had died and she dealt with the grief, Charlie was now putting her through it again by having to watch the life slowly drain from his body. Liz spent the entirety of the movie wanting to help Charlie and ultimately feeling a sense of guilt for almost enabling him to get to the point of no return, as she was the sole person who would go out and get him the food that he would consume. 
It was in this moment where we saw that Charlie became delirious for the first time, and he spoke about his daughter Ellie and how she wanted to save Thomas by sharing the recordings and videos of him online, providing his perspective and leaning in on the way that he viewed his daughter, rather than the darkness that her mother framed it as. We got a beautiful line that was spoken by Liz shortly after this, which was, I don't think I believe anyone can save anyone. Liz was speaking this through experience. She couldn't save her brother Alan, Charlie couldn't save him either, and she also couldn't save Charlie. It was a haunting moment that provided the harsh brunt of what we were watching unfold. The five-day-long death of Charlie, with a countless number of opportunities for him to be saved. But because he himself didn't want to be saved, nobody could save him. It was inevitable. The Parallels of Charlie and Alan Charlie and his partner Alan were two individuals that were in love. But we saw that once Alan died, it was the main thing that spiraled Charlie's life and eating habits, which turned into a coping mechanism to a point where it was out of control. One thing that I thought was extremely powerful within the movie was that when we heard that Alan was trying to shake the religious views that his family were pushing upon him, he went in the opposite direction to what Charlie did. Alan stopped sleeping and stopped eating, getting to such a small weight to the point where it was extremely unhealthy. Charlie had the opposite effect when it came to dealing with negative things in his life. He overate and ended up at a larger size. I thought it was very interesting that they made a point of calling out that Alan got significantly smaller in a world where Charlie was only getting bigger following his death. Conclusion The whale's final scene was extremely powerful. After Charlie came to terms with who he was, the life that he mourned, and the daughter that he wanted to be successful, we saw him have interactions with everybody that he engaged with throughout the runtime. Whilst Charlie may not have actually gotten up, walked over to his daughter, and then died, we saw death from his perspective. And for him, it didn't seem that bad. He said his goodbyes to Alan when he looked at the photo the night before, he said his goodbyes to Liz, and then he finally got the essay read to him by the voice that mattered the most, Ellie's. Charlie loved everybody but himself, but like blue whales having the largest heart on the planet, he had a lot of love to give to only a few people that mattered to him. It was a tragically beautiful ending to a film, and Charlie finally found the peace that he was looking for. He escaped the shell of a body that was burdening him, and returned to the place where he held good memories. If that's not beauty amongst upset, then I don't know what is. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What did you think of the ending? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.